All right, YouTube, I'm back on my way to the gym, you know what I'm saying? Um, I worked out 2 o'clock in the morning. This is 2.43 in the afternoon. Um, yeah, I mean, so 12, 12, 13 hours apart, whatever. I'm do, I did upper body, now I'm going to do lower body. I'm not overtraining anything. Um, but uh, I want to give a shout out before I talk to the, uh, talk about the situation. I was talking about my last video where a guy, Smashed a 45 pound plate over another man's head. It was a 44 pound plate, kilos, whatever, 27 kilos. Um, I want to give a shout out to Clarksville uh, Barbell Club who said in my comments, uh, he informed me that the guy only got nine or ten years in, in jail. Nine or ten years in jail. That's crazy. That is, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. I learned the video. I learned it about. I learned about the situation um, in a video that popped up on my phone um, from a bigger YouTuber, and I didn't watch the whole video, so I don't know if they said it in that video or whatever. But nine to ten years, I believe, it because people get crazy low amounts for hor horrific things. Forty-five pounds on somebody's face. Dude, people that don't lift, you probably wouldn't be able to imagine what that might feel like. But people who lift weights, we get under these weights all the time. Um, you got to remember, your body is literally, like I be telling people all the time, your body is literally under that weight. You see what I'm saying? Um, and, and it wasn't him lifting the weights. It was another guy smashing the weights on him while he's, he's dumbbell pressing, which those dumbbells, I don't know how much he was lifting, but even if he was lifting 20 pounds, it would look like way more than that. But I'm just saying, like, that plus the 45, I don't know exactly how the impact was. I didn't really... I'm just saying. I didn't watch the whole thing. I didn't... I'm just saying. It don't matter if I watch the whole thing or not. 45 pounds on your face, that's the point. Anybody that don't understand what I'm talking about, don't... You shouldn't lift weights. A lot of people never understand what I be talking about. I be trying to pour my heart out about safety every video almost. Oh, you talk about that too much. No, I don't. All of these things are happening. It's still the first quarter of the year. It's going into the second quarter of the year. We ain't even nowhere near halfway through the year. A lot of people keep getting hurt in the gym. Now you got people hurting each other purposely in the gym. You got people that's... It's always it's been all kind of fitness related things. There, yes, there's things outside of fitness that's happening. It's always gonna that's the world. That's the world. Dog man, but when something happened to a celeb, people only care about something when something happened to a celebrity or something. Oh, Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't a celebrity, it don't even matter these days to people, man. Like people. You know what? I'm done talking about it, man. Never mind. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Peace. I'm serious. I'm done. I'm good. All right, YouTube. I want to talk about something I just heard about. A guy smashed a 45-pound plate on another guy's head and tried to make it look like an accident. It was all caught on camera. I'm not going to put it on my video. I just want to bring it to the light because a lot of people think that I'm crazy when I say there are crazy people in the gym who will try to hurt you. Jealousy runs deep and is dangerous. Very dangerous. Like I said, somebody tried to shake my hand while I was bench pressing. Somebody bumped into my bar another time when I was bench pressing some very heavy weight. How much weight? I'm not gonna brag about how much weight it was. Watch my videos and I'll tell you how much weight it was. It's well over 300 pounds. Somebody literally did that. Now I'm hearing a story, a guy was dumbbell bench pressing where he can't see somebody coming behind him and the guy pretended to trip. He was probably, the, it looked like the only other guy in the gym which I try my best to avoid people in the gym. Cause there's too many idiots out there. They're jealous because you're lifting something. Most of the time, 
They're jealous because you're lifting something that they cannot lift. Or maybe they can lift it, but they can lift it only with bad form. They're jealous because you have more muscle than them. They're jealous because you have less body fat than them. I'm fit because I work out and I diet and I exercise. And, I, and I'm pretty sure I have decent genetics. I'm not fit to show off on you. People think I'll be crying and no. Distractions? No, this was this was not, this is way farther than what I be going through. But but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised in the least. You gotta remember, if you don't even lift, like I always be saying, if you don't even lift, you don't even know. If you've never been under some heavy weight, you don't know how it feels to be under some heavy weight. And then you don't understand how it feels the people who get mad people literally get mad at you for something that they can work towards getting you can work towards getting it yourself and even if you can't get all the way there you can get way farther than you are now if you're weaker or you're on a weaker side okay I want to be stronger what can I do about it there's two ways of building the biggest building in the city. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm relating this to the stuff that I go through. I don't know what happened in that video besides what happened. I only seen a couple seconds. I don't know the relationship between that man and that man. Maybe they knew. I don't know. This is my first time hearing about it. But why ain't that man in jail? Like 45 pound plate smash on the man's head without him even having a chance to like brace block or anything didn't see it coming yo man I had a 10 pound plate fall on my foot before 10 pounds on my foot not my face my foot I felt like that 10 pounds almost broke my foot it literally did my foot was swollen for weeks, I miss work, everything. 10 pounds falling on my foot. This man just got, man, I'm a life subscribe share, that's all I gotta say about it. Listen, people think I'm lying all the time. All the time I'm lying. I had somebody in the comments tell me I'm lying. You've been saying that for years. I've been in the gym for years and there've been idiots in the gym for years. It ain't gonna stop. Everybody got the, the, the quick Everybody got the quick solution to other people's problems But well, what you should do is hey, You don't know you can, These people will not leave you alone They won't They will not <laughs> Yo man dog, It's easy for you to say Oh you can just get this You, you can just get your own gym Like dude you, you don't know where I live You don't even know if I got money You, you don't know You don't don't know. You don't know how much personal space I got at home. You don't even know if I got, you, all you know is what you see on this camera. You don't even know if I got a house. You don't know nothing. Everybody, if you got all the answers to somebody else's problem, then why do you still have problems? Everybody got problems. We all do. But don't take your problems out of other people. Like, dog, man, that, that was horrific. But, yo, be safe. Comment, like, subscribe, share, pay attention. Pay attention the way people's body language will tell you most of the time. Like, I don't know if this dude saw anything coming, but yo, man, like, I don't know the whole aftermath, but I can imagine it's terrible. 45 pounds on your face. Those weights are not pillows. I tell people that all the time. Those weights are not pillows. The heavier you lift, the heavier you lift is like a magnet for people to come over there closer and closer and closer to you. I just made a video. I just, matter of fact, the video before this was called Universal Talk To Me Weight. Where I explained how much weight it takes for people to usually talk to me. You know, I'm warming up. Let's say I'm warming up on dumbbell press, right? I'm working up to the, the heaviest dumbbells in my gym is the 125s. Before, I never usually make it to those. Because by the time I get to the 80s, 
long, drawn out conversation. I tell the people, shut up. Okay, yeah. They'll let you get your next set. Then they coming right back over there. You gotta breathe to lift these weights. Every breath that you take is important towards lifting the next set. Your focus need to be on the next set. My focus don't need to be on you. As a grown man, why you want my focus to be on you in the first place? They can get you hurt. There are crazy people in the gym. There's crazy people everywhere in the world. So why do you not think they exist in the gym? People are all out to get you hurt. Yeah. Jealousy runs deep. Envy runs deep. To the point where people rather see you hurt than to see you outdo them. Even though I'm not trying to outdo anybody in the gym. If I'm stronger than you, of course I'm going to outdo you. I'm not doing it because I'm going to show you that I'm stronger than you. I'm doing it because that's how much weight I need to lift to work out. If I'm strong enough to do the 125s for 10 reps, I shouldn't be doing the 25s for 10 reps just to make you feel better. What part of the game is that? That's why a lot of times I don't even go to the gym. I made up my mind, if I'm in the gym and there's people in there, I'm not going for any heavy weight. I'm gonna go for moderate weight with high reps. Straight up. Moderate weight, high reps. Get me a good pump, work on hypertrophy. Moderate weight, high reps. Because the heavier the weight is, it's just like a car crash. The faster you're going when the car crashes, the more likely you are to die. The heavier the weight are, is when you make a mistake when lifting, the more likely you're injured or you can die. People act like you don't have that sense of urgency. Please, please leave the weights alone if you don't got that sense of urgency. Cause just like in a car, you might not hurt yourself, you hurt other people. You don't know who the next car, old people, whoever. We don't, it don't matter. Peace.